one person asked me to uh, say something very quickly about the position I take on OpenSUSE, uh, especially with regards to uh, how it's doing on the market, uh, and also the way it relates to, uh, well, that's my personal perspective, how it relates to uh, to SLED or to SLEX and the all kind of SUSE Enterprise Linux uh, uh, series. Uh, it's actually called SUSE, SUSE Linux Enterprise, not Enterprise Linux, but a very confusing term. but. Uh, in any case, uh, the way I see OpenSUSE, it's a very good breeding ground or a sort of a, uh, a hut or a, uh, uh, a sort of an incubator for people to volunteer, for people to find themselves being needed and being uh, uh, invited to, to basically bring their own innovations, their skills, uh, their programs, their code uh, in a way that's going to be upstreamable to, uh, to Novell SUSE. Uh, which they will sell at a price and make lots of profit on. So, from my point of view, OpenSUSE is a very nice idea for the users and they feel very comfortable using that instead of just going to the corporate masters and pay, get paid no wage to, to work on SUSE, uh, SUSE as in the uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you have to remember what it is there for. And uh, I've seen the same sort of type of friction when people help Ubuntu or Fedora and uh, they've been told, well, you are actually working for this company, especially if they do pay you to work in the community. You are still an employee of the company, and that's just that's just something to accept, uh, whether it's comfortable or not. So that's the first thing I have to say about SUSE, uh, about OpenSUSE especially. It's it's really just the property of Novell. They own the trademarks and so on. So that's the you know, thing now.